um, the first thing I'm sensing here for you guys is um, for the next two weeks, I feel like I see you sitting down at a desk and, you know, getting a lot of things done. And the first one is I feel like on, on the career front, you're just you have a lot of things that you need to wrap up that you need to do. And I feel like you're looking through perusing through like a lot of um, a lot of like items, a lot of files, a lot of paperwork and filling them out or, you know, trying to um, finish them up. And then others of you, I feel like you're trying to memorize something. You're trying to learn something. And there's a little bit of a steep learning curve. And it seems to me like you're trying to understand how something works, like to, to really understand how all the parts are related to the whole. And I feel like this might be like instruction manuals as it pertains to the work environment. If you're studying a coursework, then I definitely feel you trying to memorize it. And it's like I said, it, it doesn't come to you intuitively. So I feel like it's a little bit of a challenge for you. So you're spending a lot of time at a desk physically, like, you know, hunched over studying and trying to absorb all this information. Um, I feel like in the past, a lot of you have, um, you know, you're, you're one of those intuitive learners where if you understand the ins and outs of how something works, then you can piece everything together. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, you know, fill in the pieces with knowledge gaps and then you will be able to see the big picture. And you're approaching this situation in the same manner. And I feel like it's forcing you to, um, I feel like it, it's, um, it's going to be different this time. So I feel like whatever you've been doing in the past is not going to work this time around. And I definitely see that, you know, like you, you can't really compartmentalize and, and, and put all the pieces together to form a big picture. I feel like the knowledge is very isolated, meaning that they're all disparate types of or pieces of knowledge and you're just gonna have to take them as they are rather than you know putting all the pieces together to form the big picture I feel that all these knowledge ideas or you know pieces of knowledge are branching off into different things so they don't necessarily come together in a big picture type of way I hope that makes sense so this is something that's gonna be a little bit challenging for you because I feel like it's a little bit chaotic and every piece of information branches off to a different area. So they don't really converge or come back together in a neat little package like what you're used to in the past. So accept it for what it is. And just know that, you know, there is going to be some type of a, um, I feel like there the chaos is going to start to make sense in the future. I don't feel that it's going to make sense this month. I feel like possibly in October. Uh, the big picture will start to present itself, okay? But it's not going to be this month. What I'm also feeling is financially, a lot of you might be um, looking for new work. I feel like, you know, sending out resumes. And it's Mercury in Retrograde. I don't advise that you do it this month if you are really, really pressed for work. I feel that taking a break from it, if you've been applying, applying, applying for the first two weeks, taking a break from it and then resuming in October is going to be much better for you, okay? Because I feel like you're getting a little bit frustrated when it comes to finances and, and when it comes to things on the work front. What I'm also sensing is um, the overall theme of the reading here is the Ten of Cups, which is a really, really good card. And uh, it basically indicates, you know, like a completion of a long cherished goal. That's what it feels like to me. Um, I feel like other people might have told you, no, you couldn't have done it. You know, it's it's very challenging. It's going to be really, really uh, difficult for you. And um, they might have, you know, they, they were naysayers. And I feel like they weren't um, doing that on purpose. It's just like you, you had a long cherished goal that was like very, very... Um, out of reach and for most people it was like unrealistic but I do feel this is the month in which something comes full circle something is like being achieved and I feel that you're really really happy overall but um, the the celebration is kind of like uh, internal and what I mean by that is I feel like first of all there's a lot of things other things that you need to do that you need to wrap up and it's just a overall very busy energy so yes you might have been like finally I did it but it seems as if that celebration, that, that much-deserved celebration is not there because there's simply no time for it. 
And then additionally, you don't want to gloat because other people might have told you, you know, oh, this is something that's really difficult. You're not going to be able to achieve it. So you feel like as if they weren't on board with your achievements or you felt as if um, telling them, hey, look what I did. Um, it, it feels to you as if you were gloating. So you don't want to put yourself in that position or you don't want to, you know, cause um, misunderstanding. So I feel like you're being humble about it, which is fine. Um, I do feel that you deserve a celebration. So taking a moment off from your busy schedule to really, you know, congratulate yourself. I feel like you've worked really hard to get yourself here and it deserves notice. Does that make sense? It deserves to be acknowledged, even to just say to yourself, I did it against all opposition. I did it. Um, I feel like saying a, a simple word of gratitude would be really beneficial for you to really let this moment sink in, okay? So that you're not so hard on yourself when you're trying to uh, memorize or, you know, finish up the rest of the work and the responsibilities that you need to do. So I feel like you're working very diligently and all of this is just culminating at this point. So don't be so hard on yourself. Say that, that prayer of gratitude and to give yourself a moment of quiet reflection and celebration of your hard-earned achievement, that's going to go a long way and that's going to put things into perspective for you, okay? Uh, what I'm also feeling is that um, I'm getting this, you know, peripheral energy and peripheral energy is just energies that are light and they're not going to affect you on such a heavy, uh, in such a heavy manner. And I'm getting that you are, a lot of you are venturing into the unknown, okay? So what that means to me is I feel a lot of communications, a lot of you are trying to start over with your dating life. I do have the Fool as well as the High Priestess. And um, the Fool is basically forging a new path for ourselves, creating that room, that space in our lives to, you know, venture out in a different way. And um, it's looking at the seven of, I'm sorry, the eight of cups and in the reverse, which is overcoming past obstacles, overcoming past like naysayers, uh, pessimistic thoughts, as well as um, overcoming like our own sense of getting in our own way in order to start something new on an emotional front. And um, I feel like you're going to be quite happy. What I'm feeling is, I honestly see a lot of you, you know, you have good candidates coming through. You have a lot of people that want to meet up with you, that wants to link up with you, that wants to, you know, go out and socialize with you or invite you for, you know, uh, drinks, um, meeting up, um, going to parties and things like that. And I feel that you might be drawn to people who are very, very um, different from you. I'm seeing more of like an opposites attract type of energy. I'm seeing more of like going for quirky people rather than dependable people. So be careful about that because I feel like a lot of you are just looking for fun and excitement to break up the monotony of the work environment or even the school environment, you know? So it feels like you're looking for, <laughs> you're looking for one night stands. That's totally fine. You're looking for more of a lighthearted, you know, being in the company of someone who's interesting, eccentric, quite quirky is what I'm feeling. I'm seeing a lot of water sign, heavy, heavy water energy. Okay, so um, I feel like Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I also feel um, more like, um, I would say like, I, I feel an earth sign specifically of Virgo an earth sign, specifically a Virgo. So those are the people that you are kind of um, leaning towards, okay? And Virgos are, are not the quirky types, but I feel like this specific Virgo um, shows up as the King of Pentacles in the reverse, as well as the High Priestess in the reverse, which indicates to me like someone who's a little bit more uh, non-traditional. Um, I do feel that they, they might, you know, in the long run, look for a, a romantic partner, but this time around at this present moment they're not looking for that and I feel that they're not withholding information or anything like that so you're not going to have to worry um, I do see that energy coming through where you're looking for more fun and excitement and you're drawn to people who are a little bit more eccentric you don't see long-term potential you know prospects with them
but I do feel that um, a few of them are going to surprise you in very, very um, interesting ways is what I'm feeling. So it looks overall to be very, very good. I don't see a specific candidate that is coming through. Just, um, you know, like um, earth and water signs that are quite fascinating, uh, quite intelligent, um, very easy going, go with the flow. And they're somewhat like, I feel like you're, you're drawn to somebody for the next two weeks. You're drawn to somebody. Um, and I almost feel as if you know that they're, <laughs> they're not going to be around for the long haul. Okay. But it's okay because you're not looking for anything serious at this point. However, if you are looking for something serious and you're, you feel as if, yeah, this person is so exciting, but they're wrong for me in so many ways. Well, that's a sign, okay? So if, if that sounds familiar to you, I, I feel like you're smart enough and you're intuitive enough to know when something is off and to, to know to turn the other way. But I feel like a lot of you are at this point drawn to somebody. You're going to go ahead with it. And I feel like this person, just be a little bit careful. They don't have, they, they don't reveal too much of themselves. Okay, so there are some red flags, but I do feel if you're just looking for fun and excitement, that's totally fine. So go ahead with it. And I definitely see something short term. I feel something like short term, okay? Um, something very, very like one night stand, something very short term, short lived, but it's going to be exciting and it's going to be good for you to break out of your um, you know, the, the minutia of the day, so, or the week or the month. So it, overall, it's going to be good. Um, others of you there that are in like, um, that have met someone or are, that are in a significant relationship, I do feel you're in a very good position right now. The center of the spread, we do have once again, the 10 of cups, which is uh, emotional bliss. And I do feel like two people seeing eye to eye and having a very, very, uh, thought provoking, you know, like conversations, or even like um, feeling really at ease with another person. If that sounds familiar, then I do feel one of the main challenges then is not really mu uh, so much about the relationship itself, but about finances, okay? So um, for those of you in stable relationships, the main thing that you're concerned about now is um, finances, how to, um, how to stabilize your own financial base so that you have adequate time, so that you have adequate... Um, so that you're not consumed by financial concerns and that you can make the relationship work. So I do feel that coming through, especially for those who are in a marriage, uh, marriage relationships or even in, in a serious coupled relationship. So I definitely see that coming through. And I definitely feel like um, one person might be extravagant. I don't know if it's, that's you or the other person that you're in a relationship with. I feel something about extravagant spending. And I feel like you're going to have a conversation about finances this month to try to curb the spending. And I know that sounds really unattractive and unromantic. But this is something, this is a topic that needs to be breached. And it is going to be good for you both to get this out of the way now and you know it's mercury and retrograde is a good time to talk about these things okay rather than spending our money extravagantly it's good to try to conserve or find new ways to budget or find new ways to like uh, get a grip on our spending or on the expenditures I feel that's going to be really important for you um, I see majority of you are kind of like talking to somebody from a distance is, is the message I'm getting, you know, like, um, I feel electronic communication. I feel there's a sense of geographical distance between you and another person. And I feel that you are quite smitten by somebody like you, you're actually, um, it's in the, the preliminary stages where you're getting to know somebody. So you're not dating each other exclusively, but there is potential out there. And I see a lot of swift communication, uh, through electronic means and the other person, it feels almost like they're not in the picture. That means you either have not met them yet or there's a sense of geographical distance um, between the two of you. And I definitely feel take it very, very slowly because during Mercury in retrograde, if you have started recently dating somebody, then um, take it slow because people are not... Things are not what they seem, okay? And the Mercury retrograde period is going to end on the 22nd. So I feel like uh, if you can delay the meetup, try to do it after the 22nd and see how you feel if the feelings are still pervasive. Because I feel like a lot of you are kind of like mesmerized by somebody, but you're... 
um, you need to take it slow, okay? You need to take it very, very slowly. So um, finances, that's something, one of the main focus I'm feeling for this month. So get that situation sorted out. I don't feel that you guys are in dire strait, but I feel like there's some curbing of expenditures or curbing when it comes to uh, spending, 